Upon completing this in-service, you will number one, understand the definition of cross-contamination and food contamination. Number two, identify potential contamination hazards in the food preparation process. And number three, learn ways to avoid cross-contamination during food production. Cross-contamination is defined as the transfer of harmful substance or disease-causing microorganisms to food by hands, food contact services, sponges, cloth towels, or utensils which are not cleaned after touching raw food and then ready-to-eat foods. Cross-contamination can also occur when raw food touches or drips onto cooked or ready-to-eat foods. Cross-contamination can occur when harmful substances, such as chemical or disease-causing microorganisms, are transferred to food by hands, including gloved hands, food contact services, sponges, cloth towels, or utensils that are not adequately cleaned. Potential hazards and preventing cross-contamination during food production. Make sure workstations, cutting boards, equipment, and utensils are cleaned and sanitized. Do not allow ready-to-eat food to touch surfaces that have come in contact with raw meat, seafood, or poultry. Thaw meat, fish, and our poultry in a refrigerator in a drip-proof container and in a way that prevents cross-contamination on a lower shelf with no ready-to-eat food underneath or near it. Store food in the following top-to-bottom order. Ready-to-eat food, seafood, whole cuts of beef and pork, ground meat and ground fish, whole and ground poultry. Prep raw meat, seafood, and poultry at a different time than ready-to-eat food when using the same table. Clean and sanitize work surfaces between products and tasks, including cutting boards and food contact equipment, for example, food processors, blenders, preparation tables, knife blades, can openers, and slicers. Separate cutting boards for raw and uncooked food and for raw fruits and vegetables should be used. Prepared food should not be cut on the same boards as raw food. Cutting boards should be of hard rubber construction, not wood, and be dishwasher safe. Once a cutting board gets excessively worn or develops hard to clean grooves, consider replacing it. Between uses, store towels, cloths used for wiping surfaces during the kitchen's daily operations in containers filled with sanitizing solution at the appropriate concentration per the manufacturer's specifications. Assure that these sanitizing solutions are kept out of the food prep area to avoid the risk of chemical contamination when preparing food. Periodically testing the sanitizing solution helps to assure that the correct concentration is maintained. Testing your knowledge on avoiding cross-contamination during food production. Question number one. Cross-contamination is the transfer of bacteria and disease-causing microorganisms from blank to blank, from your hands to your face, from raw foods to cooked foods, from cooked foods to raw foods, from the grocery store to your house. And the answer to question number one, cross-contamination is the transfer of bacteria and disease-causing microorganisms from B, raw foods to cooked foods. Question number two, which of the following is a good way to prevent cross-contamination? A, keep raw meat away from ready-to-eat food. B, put cooked foods back onto plates that had raw food on them. C, keep ready-to-eat deli turkey below thawing hamburger in the refrigerator. Or D, use the sanitizing cloth to clean the knife in between cutting chicken and fruit. And the answer to question number two, which of the following is a good way to prevent cross-contamination? A, keep raw meat away from ready-to-eat food. Question number three, store refrigerated food in the following top to bottom order. A, seafood, ground meat, and ground fish, ready-to-eat food, whole and ground poultry, 
whole cuts of beef and pork. B. Whole cuts of beef and pork, ready to eat food, seafood, ground meat and ground fish, whole and ground poultry. C. Ready to eat food, seafood, whole cuts of beef and pork, ground meat and ground fish, whole and ground poultry. Or D. Whole and ground poultry, seafood, ground meat and ground fish, whole cuts of beef and pork and ready to eat food. And the answer to question number three, store refrigerated food in the following top to bottom order. And the answer is C, ready to eat food, seafood, whole cuts of beef and pork, ground meat and ground fish, and always whole and ground poultry on the bottom. Question number four, true or false? It is important to clean and sanitize cutting boards and utensils after using them for raw meat. And the answer to question number four is true. Question number five, true or false? It is okay if a cutting board has a few hard to clean grooves. And the answer is false. If there are a few hard to clean grooves, then you should purchase a new cutting board. Thank you for your participation in today's program. Our goal is for you to use this information in your daily work. We hope you are well served today and every day. If you would like more information about our in-service training programs or consulting dietitian services, please contact us at 1-800-761-9200 or nutritioncaresystems.com.